Okay, good. Move in, let's go. Talk to closer to me. Well, you don't have to get that friendly. Okay. Hey, we're here with uh, Donna and everybody at CSI Saddle Pads in their booth at Mandalay Bay. And right now I have Rodeo Clown Tuffy, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My name is Tuffy Gessling. I'm a professional rodeo clown. And where do you hail from? Uh, right now we're in Missouri, but uh, we have a truck and we'll travel no matter where it goes. So if you want him out of Missouri, you know... <laughs> Why, you the folks in Missouri, you know, send him somewhere. <laughs> I think they already said, they've, I think some of the, the governor all of them already said they wanted me out of Missouri. So, but, Well, we're not going to go there, well, you know. But, go there, no. but uh, how do you like being out here at the NFR? Oh, I tell you what, being here with CSI Saddle Pads, it's an American-made product, and I, it's an honor. You know, Donna told me on the phone, she said, you know, uh, the American flag, those colors, red, white, and blue, don't run. He, she said, you didn't run and hide, and neither did CSI Saddle Pads come and be a part of the booth, yeah. and that was it's an honor. Well, I will go there on one occasion. I mean, you are the, the gentleman that uh, <laughs> told a joke concerning the president. Yeah, All right. that was me. However, I can only say one thing. You, you know, when you have that job, you better have thick skin. And, you know, I heard Will Rogers one time in a statement. Well, I didn't hear him personally. I, well, I'm not that old. But in a statement, he said, I've, in my lifetime, I've picked on a lot of big men. And they just laughed with me. And that's probably why they were so big. That's probably right. I tell you what, in anything that you do, if you can't laugh at yourself, you know, uh, then it's a sorry state of affairs. You know, I was actually, you bring up Real Rogers, I actually uh, literally uh, roped for the museum down there oh, for a little yeah. while. Yeah, we do some trick roping yeah. and everything else, and we operate what they call in PBS. So uh, we put butts in seats no matter what. And he's right. Will Rogers is completely right. They're big men that can take a joke. That's right, and and that goes with the territory. And I think today we're we're way too sensitive to things. I mean, if you can't laugh your way through some of this stuff, you got a problem. Oh, I'm, I agree. I mean, look at me. Look at here. <laughs> yeah, I look like Tammy Faye Baker on crack. I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not running that bad yet. Don't well, cry. Don't cry. No, I won't cry. I mean, I, I, I took my sensitivity training, so therefore I can't really cry. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> and Dr. Phil was there, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, he was there. Yeah, he consoled yeah. me through the whole thing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, it's, it's fun talking to you. I mean, we could probably run all night. But I will say this. If you worked at the Will Rogers Museum, he's always been kind of one of my heroes, not just because of his roping expertise, but just him as a man and how he could uh, look at things that were going on nuts in this world, you know, as nuts then as they are now, um, and just make, put a bit of, in a form that everybody could just understand what they're looking at and go, wait a minute, what's that really all about, right? Exactly. Well, and, then, and you know, you said that, and, and I think back then it was a simpler time. You know, we didn't have uh, all these video games, and kids went outside and played. That was a different thing, you know. Yeah. Uh, you know, one thing back then, uh, I heard kids say, please, may I, thank you, yes, ma'am, no, sir. Yeah. And I think that's that's lacked. I think we've gotten away from that. And I think, you know, to be honest with you, to get everybody wants that, but nobody wants to, to commit to it. So, You know, talk about simpler times. I have to bring this up. Just a couple of nights ago, I was watching the news, and they had a letter. The gentleman was on there. His father wrote the letter. Now, the gentleman they interviewed, Right. was uh, 85 years old. Right. His father wrote this letter as a kid in 1915. And it was a letter to Santa that somehow got preserved, and he just discovered it a few years ago, really? pressed in a book. And he knew that his grandfather and father, when he was growing up in the early 1900s, he knew they didn't have much money. Right. The letter said, Dear Santa, and, and the gist of it, it was like, I know there's a lot of people that need more than me. I have a roof. I have food. So after you've given toys to everybody else, if you have anything left over, would you just leave one for me? That's good. What wow. else can you say? Right? <laughs> you can't say anything else. Today, if your kid thought he was only going to get one thing at Christmas, oh, my goodness. Oh, it, it, I, I mean, it'd be World War Three. What are you talking about? And he didn't get to pick. Just, you know, yeah, this, this kid was saying, just send me something. Right? Just send me something. I tell you what, I, good on him. I tell you what, we need more people like that in the world, I'll be yeah, honest with you. We do. So. Well, so how do you like CSI saddle pads? Oh, dude, I, I tell you what, we ride the saddle pad, and when I'm not in all this here, you know, we actually do ride horses, and, and we love horses. That's kind of our, our other stick. Uh, you know, we're in the Western world. We live in the Western world and everything else, and, and we love horses. That kind of gets us away from uh, the, the stress of uh, performing and, and uh, people kind of coming after you after that whole thing happened that... that 
I kind of retracted and nobody seen us for a while, and that's where I was. I was riding horses, and I have one of the CSI saddle pads, and I love it. Yeah, they're they're great. I I, I enjoy Donna. I enjoy all the people that are associated, Ooh. and we've been doing some stuff in her booth now the last couple of events that she's right. been to like this, and and it's just great. I mean, it is. I mean, the technology, the the forethought that, that Donna's went through to make this CSI saddle pad, uh, it's it's amazing. Well, and the company's really growing. She's bringing in good people. You're here. Heidi McLaughlin's here. Heidi's husband, Pete, that we talked to a bit ago. She's bringing in good people. Well, uh, I don't know how good I am, but well, I mean. you're doing <laughs> fine. All right, and then you surround it with the various clinicians like the Ken McNabs that yes. are riding the pads. Yes. Amazing gentlemen. And uh, it all just works. Yeah, amazing gentlemen. Kim and, and Carrie Coon, uh, Kim McNag, Carrie Coon, they really do. I really do look up to those young men, and uh, I say young men to everything, so so I don't want nobody to think that I'm old, you know. Don't worry about it. I say young men to a lot, okay? okay? Well, as long as you're not pushing up grass from the bottom, you're a young man to me, yeah. no matter how old you are. But I look up to those guys. I right. mean, and, you know, it says a lot for those guys, for their character and, and, and everything else, their staying power, that they endorse that pad, and it... It means a lot. It really does. We do, too, so it's yeah. it's fun. Well, Tuffy, we appreciate you taking a moment. I appreciate it. And uh, enjoy the rest of the NFR. we got this evening and tomorrow, right? Oh, yeah, this evening, tomorrow. It's great action. The horses and the bulls, but great. The timed event guys, I mean, they are... Three and one in the steer dogging. Oh my gosh! Yeah, eighty nine points in the. In a couple the of world records were set last night, yes. right? Yeah, uh, 13, 13 one in the barrel racing was here just the other night with Taylor. Yeah. Uh, then there's been they've been switching back and forth with the steer dogging. A lot of those guys ride a CSI saddle pad. Uh, I know several of them. We got to visit with them and stuff like that. And I mean the competition. Cody Ull, he is on fire. You cannot beat that man. He is uh, pumped and he is. Uh, he just if if, they're, if anybody's listening or watching, they need to get to the NFR. Well, I'll tell you what. Tomorrow night, being Saturday night, this is Friday the 13th. Tomorrow, Friday the 13th. Don't say tomorrow, that loud. tomorrow night, <laughs> Saturday night the 14th ought to be quite a finale. It ought to be huge. I mean, it literally ought to be huge. It and then you know. It's just an honor just to be here, just to get to watch it, even on the big screen. It's amazing. You ought to feel the energy in this town. It's Literally, it's about ready. If it had a roof here, there wouldn't be one left. It looked like a tor group of tornadoes come through and blow it plumb off. That's how much energy is here. You're right. Tuffy, thanks again. Thanks a lot. Appreciate, appreciate it very much. It. And to Donna and to everybody, uh, thanks to CSI Saddle Pads for having us here at Mandalay Bay. And uh, we enjoy it with speaking of horses. we got more coming. Wave to them there, Tuffy. We'll see you. Here we are in the CSI saddle pad booth, and uh, we're in Mandalay Bay. We are at the uh, Cowboy Marketplace, Marketplace, and it's part of the NFR, and we're glad to be here and uh, be involved with uh, CSI saddle pads. But I'm standing next to Pete McLaughlin. Now, Pete um, is working with Ken McNabb on a program. So first, let's talk about, you know, Ken was on with Donna when we filmed a segment on Speaking of Horses in Virginia, talking about all the people that he's got riding CSI pads and all of his involvement. But you, not only are you involved with that, but you're involved with the uh, membership program that Ken is starting. That's so correct. tell us a bit about that. Yeah, Ken decided that it was time for him to start a membership program, like a fan club. And so we sat down and we brainstormed with Ken at his facility up in Wyoming and out here in Southern California. And we decided we wanted to take all of the features that were appealing to his fans and then put them in one location on his web page that members would be able to sign in and they would be able to establish blog, a, a blog, blog with other uh, members of the membership club. We have old episodes of Ken's show on there. We have words of wisdom from Ken, his latest videos. What we try to do, Wayne, was we tried to incorporate all of the features that we thought the members of uh, Ken's fan club and the people that follow him would want to see. And there's just a wealth of information there. So it required a pretty sophisticated effort, but we put together a wonderful membership site that's now open. It's uh, $20 a month for a membership there, or you can pay for a year in advance and 
and get a discount of uh, $20. And I think the people that enjoy Kim McNabb Horsemanship will really enjoy the website. Um, we've put a lot of thought into it. And again, I think we have more features than perhaps three or four of the other clini clinicians combined. So I think they'll be very happy with what we've put together, and I think Ken's very happy with that. Well, you know, I've worked with Ken at many events, and, uh, you know, Ken, he always told the story about starting out going on his first trail ride in the mountains when he was only a matter of weeks old because his mother says, I'm not missing the trail ride. But, you know, Ken is the true horseman through and through. Yeah. Uh, great horseman, great family man. Great human uh, being. Great people person, right. So so this uh, being able to interact with uh, Ken on, on a much more regular basis through the website, not just watching the show on RFD TV or seeing him at a at a venue uh, is really ought to be a plus. It is a plus and Ken loves Wyoming. We've got some fabulous videos of some cattle drives, some riding, some intimate moments with Ken riding with his family. We've put together some fabulous footage that I think um, a lot of his fans and a lot of your viewers will just love going and sharing that experience. Like I said, the blogging feature, the direct emails, talking to Ken personally online. I think those are things that the real horsemen, the person who follows somebody like Ken McNabb would really enjoy. Well, I agree with you, and i tell you one thing I do know about Ken. When you send him a message, Ken will answer you. That's correct, he will. He's very... Ken has told me on a number of occasions that the people that support him are the most important thing in his life, and he is never too busy to set down you know, his reins or whatever he's doing out on the ranch, answer an email, you know, answer somebody's questions about problems they're having maybe with a horse. The people that he has working for him, particularly his trainers, are some of the best that I've ever seen and they just put a significant amount of time and attention into the horses they train, the horsemanship. When he designs his gear, it's always with the rider in mind and it's it's, it's, it's fabulous equipment and I just think he's done a fabulous job and hopefully we've conveyed his mission statement and what he wants to do on this website, website and this membership club. Well, you know, I think it's a great move. I think it's a great move, a great thing, and, uh, and of course he's a huge supporter of CSI saddle pads also. Yeah, he is indeed. They, I think collectively over the years he's put about 60,000 hours on a pad. That's 60,000, and that's a significant amount of time, and they've never had a failure. Um, obviously, a lot of the folks out there know about the patented technology we use in the saddle pad, and CSI saddle pad is an integral part of Ken McNabb's program. Well, it is, and, and the video we shot in uh, Virginia, mm -hmm. uh, Ken stopped in with Donna, talked about how all the people writing it and how much he'd written it, and, uh, and some of the real insight to the people that ride those pads. So we thank uh, Donna, CSI, we thank you, and of course, uh, the best to Ken McNabb. Thank you so much, and thank you for having me on. Right. Here no we problem. are now, uh, finishing up here at CSI Saddle Pads with our feeds from the uh, NFR, actually in Mandalay Bay. and. I'm here again with Donna, who uh, is the owner and driving force of CSI Saddle Pads. But now we want to mention one thing. We just were done talking to Tuffy a bit ago, the rodeo clown, and we talked about red, white, and blue running deep, and you really mean that, right? Absolutely. Our pads are 100% made in Missouri with only American parts by American hands. I'm proud to say that we, ha we currently employ 13 Americans. 13 Americans making saddle pads in Missouri. And it's all USA. Yes, it is. Yeah. And that's awesome. Yeah. Well, we want to make sure you understood that. You've seen Tuffy. We talked to uh, Pete a bit ago here in this feed. Uh, we discussed Mr. Ken McNabb, who's yes. one of your big, big uh, clinicians that rides the thunder out of your pads. Oh, he does. <laughs> <laughs> he does ride them. If anybody is a test, Ken is, right? Longevity. And they're made in the USA. It's a great company, great people. I've always enjoyed running into you wherever I've been in the world. It's been a pleasure. And uh, doing these feeds has been a lot of fun. So check them out, CSI Saddle Pads, and it's just CSI... P-A-D-S. Dot com. That's right. <laughs> and that's a USA dot com, right? Amen. <laughs> Donna, thanks. Thank you. All right, that's it. Speaking of horses at the NFR, thank you.